Dawson Scuba Divers out there, welcome to Scuba Dive Magazine. Now, if you own your own dive computer, or at least played about with a dive computer before, or God forbid, you read the manual of a dive computer, then you may have come across gauge mode. But it isn't always explained what gauge mode is actually there for, uh, unless you did read the actual manual, uh, which I know every diver diligently does. Um, it's important that you know and understand what gauge mode is before you select it and jump into the water because yes you will be able to go on that dive but it does have some drawbacks some of them that can last a next day or two today's video is sponsored by dive equipment manufacturer techline uh, techline is a european brand that is quickly growing in popularity around the world that make everything from regulators and bcds to dive torches and much more uh, i'll pop a link to their website in the description below if you want to check out some of their gear <laughs> On the surface, uh, if you pardon the expression, uh, gauge mode often looks very similar to dive mode. It will show your current depth, your maximum depth, and a load of other information. But one key thing that gauge mode will not show you is your no decompression limit. Gauge mode quite simply switches off the algorithm inside of your dive computer and just gives you the raw information from the sensors. The pressure sensor, the thermometer, uh, if your computer has a thermometer, and the stopwatch, they will continue to work and monitor your dive profile throughout the dive. Some computers may also still connect to a wireless air transmitter, but crucially, it won't tell you if and when you go into deco or if and when you need to do a stop. Gauge mode in your dive computer turns your dive computer into just that, a digital depth gauge. It has another downside. If you go diving in gauge mode, most computers will lock you in gauge mode for 28 to 48 hours, it's usually 48 just to be safe, so that you can't go back into normal scuba or nitrox mode, and a lot of divers find that out the hard way. The reason why it does that is because of the exact thing that gauge mode does. It turns off the algorithm, so the computer itself doesn't know how much nitrogen is still in your system and doesn't have that baseline to work out your NDL and your dive profile. It doesn't know what gas mix you were breathing, so it just defaults to, you know what, take 48 hours off and then I know that your tissues are all clear, then you can go scuba diving again. You can still use gauge mode, you just can't use scuba or nitrox. The 48 hour lockout is there to make sure that all of your tissues are clear before you go on your next dive. This displeases some scuba divers, but it is there for your safety. But if there are all of these negative aspects to gauge mode, then why would anyone actually use it? Gauge mode is a useful tool to act as an independent backup. If your main dive computer fails for whatever reason, you still have on your backup computer that's set to gauge mode, you still have your current depth, your average depth, and your maximum depth. It's, it's a nice bit of redundancy. If you leave it in scuba mode, so you're running two computers on scuba mode, then you may have conflicting results between your computers because they may be on different algorithms, the sensors are all slightly different, and if the alarms, especially are still turned on on your backup computer, then it's just going to continue barking at you and continue to complain until you play by its algorithm and its sensors. Rebreathers are another prime reason for gauge mode. Unlike open circuit, the gas mixture that you're breathing on a rebreather can change. With standard open circuit scuba system, whatever you fill that cylinder with before the dive is what you're going to breathe throughout the entire dive. This makes it very easy for the dive computer when you just input your gas mix. Even if you switch your gas mix underwater, you just tell your computer that you're breathing from a new mix and it adjusts the algorithm accordingly. But a rebreather can constantly adjust your gas mix on the go. So unless you want to adjust your dive computer constantly, it's better just to use gauge mode or CCR mode if your computer has that mode installed. 
it's quite rare for divers to need to use gauge mode, especially on their main computer. It's usually reserved for their backup dive computer and it's normally, it's their old dive computer that they've replaced with a newer, fancier dive computer that instead of your old one just sitting in a drawer gathering dust, it's actually put to some good use as a redundant backup. But Mark, what's the difference between gauge mode and apnea mode? I hear one or two of you ask. Apnea and free diving modes often have a few dedicated systems that you won't find in gauge mode. Apnea usually has a faster sample rate, so you don't want to miss out on your depth record because the computer was only recording once every 10 seconds. Apnea modes also often have a surface dedicated timer so that you can monitor how long you've spent on the surface between dives and apnea modes can sometimes have dedicated alarms or timer systems for things like Taravana which are free diving specific. You could use gauge mode for free diving but if your computer has a dedicated apnea or free diving mode that would be far better. Bottom line, gauge mode just ignores the algorithm installed in your computer and turns it into a digital bottom timer. That's really what gauge mode does. Only use it when you have another computer or tables working out your saturation levels and your dive profile and if you don't mind locking your computer into gauge mode for a couple of days. If there are any other modes in your dive computer that you'd like explained, then by all means ask away in the comments below. And remember to head over to techlinediving.eu to check out Techline's range of dive gear and of course our website scubadivemag.com and subscribe to the channel here for the latest scuba diving news and advice. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.